Hi, this is Veena Prashant from DigitalAccessPass.com and WicketCoolPlugins.com. In this video, let's take a look at what are the different credit storefront layout options. We currently allow two different credit store layouts. You can use a single product per row layout that um, you are seeing right now. You will notice that there is one product per row and there is an option to redeem the entire product and also a buy now option uh, if the users want to purchase using cash. You will also notice that there is an option to redeem individual items. So the users can redeem the entire product by clicking on the redeem button here. And in this case, uh, the cost of the product is seven credits. So they can spend seven credits and redeem access to the entire product, or uh, they can redeem access to individual content. What they can do is they can pick the content that they are interested in, and they can pay for that using credits. So it's pay per post using credits option. For example, if they just want post six and post four, they can select that. Um, they can then click on redeem selected items and, and say redeem selected items to get access to just those two posts. And they just have to spend two credits for that instead of spending the entire seven credits on the product. Uh, you will also notice that you can split uh, the individual items into multiple pages. Uh, this way it's easy on the eyes and it does not make the store look too crowded. You can configure how many items you want to show per page. Here I have configured five items to show per page. That's why you are seeing five posts on this page and the rest have moved over to the next page. You can also specify how many products you want to display per page. In this case, um, I have specified two products to appear per page. Uh, that's why you will see here that I have the Facebook secrets product number one and Twitter secrets product number two uh, on page number one and the rest of the products have uh, moved over to the next pages. Now let's take a look at multiple products per row option. Here the store can display two or three products on the same row rather than just one. But because um, the number of products that are displayed per row is more, uh, you cannot do the pay per post via credits uh, in this layout. That's because we cannot fit the redeem individual items via credits in this layout. So the users can purchase the entire product and they can purchase it uh, using credits or they can purchase it using cash. Now you have the option to configure whether you want both the buttons to show or you just want to allow the users to redeem using credits and no buy now option. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to create the credit store products and configure and customize various credit store options.